So today we're going to be comparing the OnePlus 7 Pro versus the Huawei P20. And the P20 is pretty old right now, so if you're planning to upgrade, let's figure out if the OnePlus 7 Pro is a good one. So right now the version I'm recording on on my OnePlus 7 Pro is 9.5.5. So this is the low light test of a front facing camera and I'm walking on a sidewalk. It's kind of windy and a lot of cars next to me and these lights up here is also really tungsten so it gives off that really orange look. Starting off with the front facing camera on the Huawei, the background blur is much more but it doesn't look as real or natural versus the OnePlus 7 Pro. The OnePlus also has an ultra wide angle lens which the P20 does not have. So it's really useful when you're in tight spaces and you just want to capture more of the image or even a group photo. I do find the ultra wide angle on the OnePlus very inconsistent in terms of color. Sometimes it matches the main sensor or the main camera and sometimes it's way off. When we start to zoom in, I do feel like the Huawei does have the better or sharper image and that may be due to the better post processing. For HDR, most of the pictures I see, the OnePlus does win. You can see a lot more in the shadows, which is more brighter, and the color seems more vibrant. For the highlights, you can see more clouds, you can see the differences between the sky and the clouds, whereas the P20, it all fades into one whole palette of white. For portrait mode, the Huawei does seem to have more options in terms of using different lenses. For the OnePlus 7 Pro, you're stuck with a telephoto lens. So for a real life situation when you're sitting down at a table and you want to take a picture of your friend, it's going to be really cramped. So having the option to zoom out, like the Huawei P20, it really makes sense in a lot of these areas. The Huawei also have this mode called Aperture Mode, which is my favorite mode on the phone, which is almost the same as Portrait Mode, but you don't need a face required to be in the picture. On the OnePlus 7 Pro, the Portrait Mode is basically the same concept as the Aperture Mode on the Huawei, which is you can shoot any Portrait Mode-like pictures on basically anything. On Huawei, you get way more customizations in terms of background blur, and you can shoot in 1x, 2x, and 3x, whereas the OnePlus 7 Pro is only stuck in that telephoto lens focal length. From my experience in shooting in these modes, I do feel like the OnePlus 7 Pro is lacking in terms of getting things in focus or getting the effect to work. On the Huawei side, it's really easy. You just point and shoot, and if you're unsure, just tap, and then it'll pick what's in focus. And then you can actually do it in post as well. You can actually pick what you want in focus after you take the picture. For low light, I would recommend to stay away from the ultra wide angle lens, especially when you're pointing at things like street lights or stop lights. They have a really weird flare going on, which is really unpleasant looking. When the wind blows on trees and leaves, you can actually see the motion blur on the OnePlus 7 Pro, whereas on the Huawei, it's super sharp. During dark areas, the OnePlus 7 Pro camera app doesn't perform as snappy as it does in daytime. So if you move your hand right after you hit the shutter button, the picture might come out blurry. So during times like these, I always need to double check on my photo or even take a second one on the OnePlus 7 Pro. So if you happen to capture a candid moment, you might be stuck with a blurry photo and you can't really recreate that moment again. For the best bet, I would always try to stick with the main camera on the OnePlus 7 Pro and avoid the other two lenses. And there are times when you really need the ultra wide angle lens, you just have to hope for the best. In portion mode, places where there's not a lot of light, it doesn't really register or the effect doesn't really work and sometimes it'll tell you more light needs to be required. On a Huawei, it still works. It may take some time to try to find focus, but at the end of the day, it does work. For their own night mode, they both do get brighter pictures, but I am leaning towards the OnePlus 7 Pro just because the pictures are much more sharper and the colors are more consistent. Whereas the Huawei, you can tell that the colors are more shifting towards the green side and it's much more softer. You can see more noise and a lot of digital noise are coming out. And keep in mind though, sometimes the OnePlus 7 Pro night mode does give a lot more noise because it sharpens a lot of it and it shows a purple light coming out of nowhere. Moving on to video, shooting in 4K30, it's obvious that there's no stabilization on the Huawei P20 Pro. I do think the HDR on the OnePlus 7 Pro is also much better and the colors as well. And if you do need stabilization on your Huawei, then that means you have to go down to 1080p. And there's already a bunch of other phones which are cheaper, does have 4K stabilized footage. So the Huawei P20 Pro is kind of outdated in the video world. And the OnePlus does have 4K60, so if you like shooting in that mode, you have that option. And the Huawei P20 Pro does not have any 4K60 at all, it maxes out at 4K30. For low light shooting, it's obvious that the OnePlus 7 Pro will have micro jitters because it's trying to stabilize itself, whereas there's no stabilization on the Huawei P20 Pro, so you don't see none of that micro jitters, but it is a shaky handheld footage. You do a stabilization test in low light anyways, I moved down the Huawei P20 Pro to 1080p just to see, and it looks like the OnePlus 7 Pro is losing each step I take. You can see a lot more wobble going on, while the Huawei does seem to have that micro jitter, but it doesn't seem as bad. 
So that is my comparison between the OnePlus 7 Pro versus the Huawei P20 Pro. So let me know what you guys think in terms of which one is better for you or you think it's worth the upgrade. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.